Hello, welcome back to Microsoft Excel. It's the IT guys here. Now, today we're going to be having a look at the ribbon. The ribbon is this section at the top. And we're primarily going to be having a look at the different tabs that are to the right of the file tab. So let's have a quick overview first of what each tab is for. The home tab is where a lot of the basic office work is done. So things like changing the fonts, font styles, putting borders around the cells, changing the formatting of the cells, so to say, say set it to account for money, the percentages, changing the decimal places, aligning your text. You can also apply conditional formatting here into the styles group. And also you can change, delete, insert cells, etc. If we move over to the insert tab, this is where we get most of our graphs and spark lines. You can also apply filters, insert links, insert equations and symbols, and work with tables and pivot tables. We come over to page layout. You can change the themes and colouring of your spreadsheet. You can change the margins, orientation, paper size for printing. Again, changing scaling for paper size for printing. And align and arrange objects that are within your workbook. Formulas. This is what Excel is all about. You've got all of your different formulas here. You've got your insert function here, which will come up with a list of all the different formulas that are in Excel to let you pick. Data. This is where a lot of data analysis takes place. You can use data validation. You can link to external data, so in access data databases, for example. You can also get external data from online and refresh that. Review. This is where you will do spelling, grammar checks, that sort of thing. It's also where you will share your workbook and do protection. View. This lets you change the view you have. It lets you do freeze panes. It will check that you open new windows, arrange the windows, zoom, etc. This is also where you'll find macros. And team. This is all about sharing your workbook with other people and allowing them to work on it. If you want to minimize this ribbon, you can either click this little arrow in the, top, in the far right corner or double click where it says home or on any of these tabs for that matter and it will minimize the ribbon but leave the tabs open. Double click them again to open them and pin the ribbon open. If I close them again and then single click, it will open the ribbon However, when I click off the ribbon back into my worksheet it will close automatically. You can do this also by coming over to where it's got ribbon display options in this top right corner above your name and it'll give you the option to auto hide ribbon, show tabs or show tabs and commands. Show tabs and commands will leave the ribbon open with all of these commands open as well. Show tabs will just show the tabs. You can then open the tab to use it and then it will close again straight away. Auto hide the ribbon hides everything including the tabs if you're just working and you want some more space. And if you cut to the top you'll see it will highlight green. Click here and it will uncollapse that ribbon for you when you need to use it. You can use the scroll wheel to move between the different tabs at the top of the ribbon. So this is a quicker way rather than having to click on them all manually. When you're in your spreadsheet, you can press the and hold down the Alt key and this will bring up key tips. So for example, I might want to go to the Home tab, I'll press H, and then I want to make the cell that I've got selected bold, so I'll then press 1. I've now made it bold. So that's a way where if you're using a keyboard, you can use the ribbon without having to use the mouse. Finally, we're going to have a look at customising our ribbon. You do this by first coming over to File. Now, we're going to go to Options. And I'll bring up this Options menu. We're going to Customise Ribbon. Now, you've got a few things. First, we're going to look, we're going to add a tab at the top. This is a tab which is already made for us. This is called the Developer tab. 
It's disabled by default, but we can enable it here. So I'll select it here by checking it, and I'll click OK. And you'll see at the top of our page, we now have Developer tab at the top as well. This tab is used for things like Visual Basic, Work, and Macros, which is why it's disabled by default, because most people will never use it. If we come back into our customized ribbon options, we can also add commands to a new group within a tab. For example, under the home, I'm going to add a new group. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it the IT guys. And I'm going to give it this businessman symbol. I'm going to click OK. I can now add functions to this group. So I'm going to say, let's, these are popular commands, but if you want to select all commands, you can do so here. And now there will be a long, long list of different commands that you can add. I'm going to say add a date occurring, and I think there's a calculator somewhere. So yeah, I'm going to add a calculator as well. And I'm now going to click OK. Now, under the Home tab, you'll see this new group on the right called the IT Guys. And it, let me open a calculator. And I can apply conditional formatting where if a date is occurring, say, last month, I could fill it with green text. This is more into conditional formatting. We'll have a separate tutorial on that on our channel. Finally, we're going to go back into our customized ribbon and we're going to create a new tab altogether. This tab is going to be called the IT Guys. And we're going to call the group that's inside it something useful. And I'm going to give it this microphone symbol. Again, you can then go through and select what you want to add to that group. Click OK. We now have the IT Guys tab at the top, something useful, and that command under it. If you want to get rid of all of your customizations, you can come to Customizations, Reset, and I'm going to reset all customizations. I'll give you this error message. Click Yes, and go click OK. We'll see developer has gone, also the IT guys tab has gone, and so has our the IT guys group. That's all we've got to show you on the ribbon, but stay tuned on our channel for more tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, also like this video and leave us a comment. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.